I don't think you can win the World Cup playing 4-4-2 formation right now because you're going to get destroyed in midfield, for example. Um, so will he adapt, will he keep the 4-4-2 for the group stages and then when things get a bit tougher he switches to three in midfield to have a bit more bodies in there and also play Paul Pogba in his best position on the left of that three in midfield. There's a lot of question and as talented as this squad is and, and, you know, and all those young players and more experienced, there's a great balance I think in the team. The question mark, the biggest one, is over Deschamps because he made mistakes at the Euros and for me that cost France the win eventually. And he will have to get it right this time if France wants to achieve at least, like we said, the semi-final, which is the objective, and maybe higher than that. Deschamps has to, have, has to make everything spot on, all the right choices for France to get far in this competition. Well, and one of the trickiest parts when you have such a talented squad is, you know, to Gab's point, is, is a pecking order. So if you have a guy that's saying, well, I'm not a sub, and now in this squad you find yourself come the first match and now you're not in the, in the starting lineup, are you going to be a distraction to the right. rest of the team? Is there going to be issues going on? It's not as if the France squad in the past hasn't had some problems off the pitch. Uh, <laughs> I think we can go back to Korea for yeah. some interesting <laughs> scenes. So, yes, there's... Uh, or South Africa. Or South Africa as well. So there's, there's times when, yes, this team has to be united in Deschamps. And one of, I think one of his biggest tasks for this World Cup is to get all 23 players in the right frame of mind, not just your... And that has to be, who are your starters? Who are your subs? Who are your guys? Because you're always going to have three or four guys that aren't even going to fit... They aren't even going to be in the plans. Mm -hmm. They're there just for to be part of the squad and they have to be as important as doing things right in training, doing things right match day, not being a distraction to the rest of the De guys. Deschamps has got to be a tremendous communicator. He's got to pull the boys to one side. If you're, if you're not in the starting 11, the boys have got to be told why and he's got to come up with the right answers because then this, this can really melt away very, very quickly. This squad is absolutely a phenomenal squad. It's almost, well, it is a player in every single position. So he has got that luxury. He cannot afford to make mistakes with the, with the selection of the team, and he's got to keep everybody on board. This team, though, has something going for them. All of us as players have used failures as a motivation to get us going forward, to try to achieve bigger things. They fail in the Euro. Yeah, they right. get to the final, but you lose that final, that's, a, that's failure for At them. home. At home. Yeah. So now, do you use that as that motivation? Do you use that as a learning experience? Do you actually, did you actually learn something from that experience and then now put that into work in the World Cup? Or do you use that as like, oh my goodness, I don't know if we can deliver in the big moment. You certainly hope, if you're a France fan, that this is a group of players that have learned from that and now can use that to propel themselves forward because of the motivation, because of what it means to them, and because of the opportunity that they have in front of them. Well, Julian, let me just put this to you then with everything that, of course, everyone has said. Semi-finals, if they don't make it at least to the semi-finals, would that just be a massive failure again for France then? Yeah, it will be a failure. It will be. That's the objective they have. The, you know, Deschamps, the French Federation. That's why the, the, the objective they have set the players is to get at least to the last four. If you look at the, the group stage and then the, if they finish first of that group, the, the potential fixtures going forward, I think it's very doable that they go to the semi-final. And then once you're there, I think anything is pretty much possible. So there's a lot of hopes, there's a lot of expectations, there's a lot, there will be a lot of pressure on this squad and on Deschamps to deliver. Um, because of all the talent, as we said, and you know, because it looks like it's all in place for them to do well. So yeah, you're right. Not, no, no summits would be a huge failure. Julian, one thing I wanted to ask about is, and this is something people have talked about in the past, is the importance of, of leadership, especially with a potentially uh, a fractured squad. You look at this, apart from Hugo Lloris, maybe Griezmann, maybe Umtiti, potentially Pogba, but we don't even know if he liked, how much he likes Pogba and whether he's going to drop him. Could there be an issue of veteran leadership if maybe Matuidi gets, gets dropped or, 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 or how, how is it going to pan out? Mm. Yeah, and Koscielny's injury in that, in that, in that way, Gab, is a, is a huge blow because not that he's the most vocal, but he's, he was one of those leaders that Deschamps relied on a lot and he won't be there. So you're right, I think Varane, as good as he is, is, is a more, extro, more introvert sorry, than extrovert. He's not, that's not his stuff. Even Griezmann doesn't want to be a leader and he's, he said that publicly, openly. Uh, it's interesting because this week Paul Pogba 
came out and saying, okay, this is, this is my time now. I need to be the leader of this team. This has to be my team. This has to be my tournament. And I want to be the boss of this team. So, you know, big, those are big words from Paul Pogba. And let's see if he, if he, you know, if he has the shoulders to, to cope with all that pressure and be the leader. I would like him to, to be that leader. But if he isn't, you're right. You might be scratching a bit for, you know, if you go 1-0 down in a quarterfinal with 25 minutes to go, who's going to pick up those guys to go and get an equalizer and then go and, get and win the game? And you're right, psychologically, that might be an issue at some point.